Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a quick demo on how to get plants that kind of simulate the way the Animal Crossing game plants work. And so this little demo here was whipped up pretty quickly so it's not the greatest textures and the animation is a little bit weird here but you can see that we sort of have this look of little leaves moving in the wind and if I stop this and turn off my hardware texturing. You can kind of see what this is constructed out of. So I have a bunch of planes and they have their pivot points set to the top. And I have a little sphere inside. This is probably a lot higher res than it needed to be. Um, but if it's set up sort of like at this angle, how um, Animal Crossing shows their, their work, you can kind of have that same technique applied here. Um, and I would use not a solid color. Uh, I'd actually texture that the same color as the leaves, but this is something just quickly to whipped up um, just to show you guys um, how that would work. So we have this playing. It looks like the, the leaves are kind of in being influenced by uh, some wind. And I'm going to show you guys how that can be done here. So let me pause that, save that again. And let me open my previous file here. So uh, let's look at what I started with. Okay, so I have this tree, and you can see in this group there's a bunch of planes. And how this was constructed, at first I was doing this with MASH, and it actually took longer, um, probably just my lack of experience with MASH, or just, uh, it, it just, I think I was overthinking it. Um, but what this ended up being constructed from, if I turn off my hardware texturing, was one plane. As a matter of fact, if I take all of this, I'm going to add it to a group and hide that for now. And I'm going to start over. So I'm going to make a plane. And I'm going to make sure that this thing is only a one by one. And I'm going to hide everything else as well. So I'm going to add that all to that one layer I was working with, making sure I have my grid back on. I'm going to move this down. Okay, so there's my origin. I'm going to hit the D key move this up and I'm not going to do all of the tree. I'm just going to show you a couple layers of this, but if I hit, um, control D rotate and maybe around here, control D and rotate. I have my first layer. So now that I have this, I can now go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to move it out. And I'm going to keep it in the same spot as this last one. So I want a little bit of an overlap. And if I turn on my wireframe on shaded, I can see it's overlapping just a little bit. So here's this one, here's that one. From here, if I hit Control G to group it, I can now Control D to duplicate. And why I did that is because now my origin is in the center. And I can just keep going around creating. this circle of leaves. Now, what's cool about that, I have all these. And here's my group that I was working in right here. As a matter of fact, these are all parts of this. So I'm gonna actually select all these groups and go to edit ungroup. I don't need the groups anymore. So we actually minimize that. I'm gonna grab all those and edit ungroup. And now I don't have groups here. I just have the planes, so I have from here to there. This is actually my ground. So I'm gonna make sure I can keep that organized. Uh, so I have all these, they should actually all be renamed to leaf as well, but uh, I whipped this up just because I was excited to show you guys. So um, with this next row, so I have from here to here. If I end up rotating this down, okay, I have one layer of leaves. I'm going to take that same start that I was using right here, control D to duplicate, move it out and move that. So it's again, somewhere maybe around here. And again, I'm going to hit control or control G to group and control D to duplicate and rotate, rotate. And I don't need to be precise. Mother nature is not very precise on things either. Um, unless you want to get super technical with 
uh, the Fibonacci sequence that you see in shells and stuff like that. But um, for, for the sake of trees, we're, we're going for more of an organic, organized chaos, I guess is how we'll, we'll call that. And again, I have all my groups. I'm going to select these and we go to edit, ungroup, and I'm going to rotate them down. So that's what I did. I ended up going and creating these. I'm going to do one more layer and then I'm going to move on. So again, duplicate, move down, over, making sure we're kind of overlapping a little bit. And from here, I'm going to hit Control G and Control D. And I want these to be touching a little bit because when they go down, uh, that, that little bit of an overlap is nice. making sure I'm not adding any rotation like I just did to these last two on anything but my Y axis here. So I'm going around and around and around. And I know one of you are probably looking at this and saying, well, there's, a, there's you could have done this with whatever. Yeah, I'm sure. But this was the fastest way that I did this without having to do any other research on, on tweaking this. So just wanted to show you how to get this going. So I got all this stuff again, edit, ungroup, and then rotate it down. So now that I have something like this, now you could grab everything and kind of give it a, a little bit of a, a wiggle like that. And hey, that, that looks kind of fun, right? And yes, mesh, or we could definitely do mash and have something like that happening too. But I find there's another technique that we can do to this that works a lot uh, quicker. And if I have all these selected, uh, first thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna go to my, um, let's change this. I'm gonna go to rename and let's call these leaf. So now I have these and now I'm not freaking out with the labeling. All right, I'm gonna go into bonus tools. So you can download this and have this as well. It's free, it's a update that you can do to Maya. And inside of bonus tools, there's modify and randomize basic. So randomize transforms basic. So give me this. And I can have that random, the move, random rotate, random scale, all that can do all sorts of fun stuff for me. The rotate's the one I'm focusing on. And the ones that I really need this to, to rotate here, I want it to go back and forth. And I also want it to go like this. I don't need it to go like that too much. It's mainly back and forth. So if I look at the original one that I was working on here, should be this one right here. So I know my Y and I know it's going to be my X. So let's tell this to do just Y and X and I'm going to grab all of these now and then hit randomize or random rotate. You'll notice it moved a little bit. Now that we have that, we can right click or left click and drag across here, key selected. So now we've added keys just to our rotate. I'm going to move forward. So let's maybe go to around 30 and then hit random rotate. Key that again. I'm going to go to around 60, random rotate key selected and then let's go to 90. Now, if you start to see that there's too much of a rhythm in here, we can always um, change that. So the wind obviously isn't, isn't, um, it's very sporadic when it makes stuff happen. But as you can see, this is actually coming across really nice. I'm going to do it one more time, random rotate. And actually let's not do that. Let's copy this first one. So copy and paste. And now we should have a loop that's going on. So let's see if this happens. So this is going on a little bit of a sway to it and it should repeat. So awesome. Now that we have that, since these are planes, they should have a UV unwrap that makes sense. So I will assign the material to it and go to hardware texturing. Pause this for a second, go to hardware texturing and let's assign our leaf texture to it, which I have off screen. So I'm going to go right click, assign material to selection. And let's see. Let's see. Why don't you want to behave right now? I'm having some errors on my machine 
for whatever reason. Let's see if this, uh, the errors are probably user controlled or user based due to the fact that I've been burning the candle at both ends, trying to get stuff to work for you guys. So, all right, so that is working. Let's see what our EVs look like on this. That looks like they're all communicating properly too. So, um, can we make just a regular Lynn? So let's go to materials. Lynn and oh, you even are telling me that that's what's on there. Okay, let me figure this out and then we'll get back to that. Okay, for whatever reason, I just had to reboot Maya and now things are working again. So you can see here, if I were to hit play, transparency is now working um, and it is slowly moving around these leaves. Now that's looking a bit sparse. So what we could do is always take our leaves and duplicate them, scale them down, but first group them so that way you're not scaling them uh, individually. Move them, rotate them a little bit, push them down there, and we'll ungroup. And what I'm going to do again is open bonus tools, modify, transforms basic, and let's just do that one more time where we will random rotate, and I'm going to grab all these, key that selection, and we'll move maybe around here, random rotate, key that selection. And again, where's around here, random rotate, key selection, and then we'll go and copy that first key and paste that again. So um, let's just see what that did here. So now we have different pieces moving. It's looking okay. And again, if this was fuller than where that was, so if I were to hide that layer and show you that original one here, you can see kind of how that, um, when we stack these, and then if we were to add a, a sphere in there, that would work a little bit better. So that works. Um, I'm gonna go and open up the demo that I had done here for you where we have these three pieces that look similar to reference of something like that. If I had a normal map on it, it would really pop that. And um, obviously fruit, things like that would really make for a more exciting piece. But let's say that this is kind of close to what they were doing there. Obviously patterns, textures would really liven that up, but this could work really nicely for um, your low poly environment or anything like that. Just simple, simple animation by randomizing the rotations.